Hey, welcome to the Fraslog. I am the guy with the Frazzleberries. Yeah, I do. I, I must say, I do have some Frazzleberries. I'm guilty. You caught me. I'm guilty. How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. No, I'm actually really tired. <laughs> um, I got like three hours of sleep. We've got a, uh, a mining expedition coming up tomorrow. Well, today, technically since today is Friday, the, April 19th. And um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked, dude. So, in a situation where I'm like, you know, I'm a little tired, I generally go with a Frappuccino. However, it's been months since I've had one. So I figured, you know what, you, don't, you deserve a Frappuccino at this point, honestly, bro. You know, you, th you do. So I'm like, you know what, guy, you're pretty, you're pretty honest. I think I can trust you. So I ended up getting a Frappuccino tonight. Because we actually had one in stock. Believe it or not, they're pretty rare, the vanilla flavor. You know. um, so we bought a $1 ladder ticket. Am I feeling lucky tonight? Eh, not so much. Looks like a one dollar win. Yep, one dollar winner. Not bad. So tell me, what are we fighting for? I don't even know if that's how the song goes, but that's how my version of the song goes. But yeah, man, some serious shit. No, um, yeah. Nothing really going on. Um, I played a little Darkfall earlier. Got my first pk experience. I got pk No, I actually got gang raped, I guess you could say. There was like six guys. I'm, I'm like sitting out here mining uh, iron. These six guys on mounts, they're just like, let's get this guy. So they all just like ride their mounts up to my back and just start wailing on me. I mean, I, I survived for a little bit. I survived for probably two minutes just running away from them. But, Inevitably, they got me, of course. I wasn't geared for combat or anything, and um, so I died. I'm sorry to tell you guys, I fucking died. No, um, the, I, it's a very, the way I'm playing Dark Fall is very interesting. Normally, Dark Fall, Dark Fall 1, I should say, it was, you did a mixture of crafting and PvE, because you needed to have at least a little, you need to have your skills up in order to go farming anyways. So, there was really no point in just merchanting in that game. So, this game, though, you can, it seems like you can fairly just merchant and still level up all your other stats. So, that you don't really have to go farm. You don't really have to go grind your stats up. You can uh, just naturally level up through uh, crafting and harvesting skills, and level up your main stats, and then you can become PvE or PvP oriented. Um... So the way I'm looking at it is, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make a lot of gold just from uh, selling shit. You know, that was that's one of my things I like in MMOs, a game where you can make a lot of money through in-game economy. Um, like for example, World of Warcraft. Before I was level 10, I was just sitting there mining, and I was at the auction house. I'm like, all right, so these prices are pretty good. So I'd sell like a stack of iron ore, and. I remember being like under level 10 and I had over 20 gold. And back then, like this was like 2007, 2008 maybe, that was quite a bit of gold. Um, recently when I went back and played WoW, it was so easy to get gold. Like a stack of 20 got me like 200 gold, you know? Like I had, I had a, over a couple hundred gold within my first like five hours of playing the game. Ooh! That hits the spot. And as always, keep on frazzling, baby. Troy, 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 he's a Troy, he's a chocolate dish and the cheese dog flavored water. Yeah. That song actually disgusted me as a kid. I was thinking, all right, get this. Chocolate starfish, first off, and hot dog flavored water. Just think of that. Just think of drinking the water inside of a hot dog package. It just, it leaves a foul taste in your mouth, personally. But anyway, boo!